I get a ton of questions on those pano 360 degree sphere images from how to take the best images, how to download them onto your mobile phone or computer, where to find the images, and how to get them onto Facebook and Google Maps. Well, today I'm gonna to answer all those questions so that you'll be able to share those beautiful images with the rest of the world. So let's go do it. So we're just gonna find a nice spot where we can see the cathedral and we've got a bit of space to launch the Mini 4 Pro. So I'm gonna pull up just here. Starting props, take off. Point updated. Little bit of a breeze, nothing too drastic. And we're gonna do two different uh, 360s, one at about 50 meters and the other at about 120 meters, just so you can see the difference in the 360s. So we're now going to go into pano. Select pano. Select sphere, and let's start. And we press start, and it'll take a series of photos. Although these 360s are really good on Google and on Facebook, they don't work on other social media platforms because it's due to their software that they've got integrated. I get back in the studio and look at a couple of different ways of downloading this footage and getting it up on this the internet. To do quick file transfer from the drone to your phone, open up the DJI Fly app and connect your drone, choose your drone, and then go back to your Fly home screen. And you can click the quick transfer icon select your drone and it'll connect and then go to your images and you'll see the globe symbol now to batch download tick the box at the top select your different files click the download icon and then that will be downloading as you can see really fast to check you've done that Go to your phone, go to your gallery, go to your DJI album and you can see your image and then you can check it's all working. Now to upload directly from your phone to Google, go to Google at the bottom you'll see contribute and then you'll see add photo. Go to your gallery, choose that photo you just saw and click the place it relates to. If you can't see that there, click somewhere else, browse to a certain place. And then post. You can then check your post by go see post on your profile, click the image might take a few minutes to appear and then view the image. You can enlarge it and then you can see it as a 360. To find your sphere image on your drone using a PC, just connect your drone to your PC. It doesn't have to be switched on and an SD card in the external storage will show up as you see here. Click on that and then go to DCIM and you'll see your different folders here. And it's not the panorama folder you're looking for, even though you will see your images as stills there. What you're looking for are your pictures and videos, which are here. Now, unfortunately, they will be all mixed up. I've got raw images, the uh, system files, SRT and video files. So what I tend to do is just separate out the JPEGs and then I just scroll down to the JPEGs to the day I was shooting and look for the image there and then just see if it looks like 
the one we saw before, the funky looking image as I like to call it. And then I now need to get that onto my computer by dragging and dropping it on my desktop. And now we'll go to the internet, we'll go to Google Maps, click on that. And what we need to do is go to your contributions, make sure you're logged in. And here you can see photos and this will be if you've uploaded things before, this is where they'll be. If you're already photographed in an area, that'll show up and you can always uh, click on the name and then you can go add photo, go to upload photos and browse and then look for your photos that way. If you've not photographed in the area before, you could do a Google search. So let's say you photographed in the port of Dover, then you'd scroll down to where photos and videos are and then you would add your photo or video and again, upload from your computer. And then that will be in your contributions or if you go over, you'll see 360 Street View. This is where your image will be. They do take a few minutes to upload, so you need to be patient. So let's just go back over to your contributions by clicking those three bars and we'll go over to photos. There's our image there. Looking out over the lake. Absolutely stunning. To post to Facebook, just open up your Facebook page, go to photo and video, browse to the file, open it up, and you can see it's got the 360 symbol just there, and then click post, check your photos. And again, there's your 360. Hopefully we've covered everything so that you're now an expert to be able to get these images online to share them with the rest of the world. So anything you're not sure of, drop a note in the comments. I'll get back to you super quick and I'll be able to help you through any of the process. If you want to see more videos on drones, there's a playlist over here. Please show me the love, subscribe to the channel up there and hopefully I'll see you over there.